one thing you want to make sure you do if you're going to be um, air dropping <clears throat> is you need to make sure that airdrop is turned on for everyone. So the way that you do that on your um, Apple devices is you tap on your settings icon, which is the silver gear. And then on the left hand side, you'll see uh, general. And then within general, let me back up. Um, the third one down is airdrop. So if you tap on airdrop, select everyone. For this purpose, you're gonna select everyone. And then when you're done, you can turn it, off, turn it back off. Okay, so I've selected everyone now, and we'll be ready to go with that. So now I'm ready to select a vocabulary and airdrop it to another device. So the first thing I do is tap on the vocab link on the top left and choose a new vocab. And on the top right, there is the menu link, so I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to select Import Export Vocab. That's about three quarters of the way down. Tap on that. And then I'm going to choose Export and Share, the very last option. So go ahead and tap on that. Now you're prompted to select the vocabulary that you want to airdrop. So go ahead and tap on the appropriate vocabulary. Now you're given an opportunity to rename the file or you can leave it as is. It prepares to share it and now it offers you a new dialog box and you're going to tap on the airdrop icon at the top left. Then choose the device that you want to airdrop it to. Now on the receiving device you'll get a message from airdrop that shows the username of the person who is wanting to share a grid and it shows the title of the grid. So when you're ready on that receiving device, you tap Accept. You're prompted to open it, and you tap on Touch Chat. Here you're prompted to import, so you tap on Yes. That brings you to a new uh, window where you can rename the grid. I'm renaming it to Test Grid so that I can easily see which vocab file it is. And tap Save. Now if I tap on the top left vocab link and choose new vocab, I can see that test airdrop has now been added to my list of vocabulary and I can select it and work with it.